I remember my first recollect recollection of time. You know, we had the we learned the clock early, hours, days. When I got the first concept of time, I hated to go to sleep at night because I, I knew it would be this many hours before I wake up and go play. Before, I just played, 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 went to bed, got up, played, 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 went to bed, got up, played, played, played. Now all of a sudden it's time to go to bed. I'm thinking of this big seven, eight hour time thing before I can get up and play again. And I used to not like to go to sleep at night. And you know, you know, like kids today and Christmas, they, they'd rather play with the wrapping paper and the boxes than the presents, you know. You, the old saying, just give a just give a kid a stick and a rock and they'll have it, you know. I, I, I didn't need nobody. I could play by myself. We had, you know, I'm five or six years old or whatever, four. And across the street is a big bacon lot. And nobody's around to play. I just go over and start pulling out clumps of rock, clumps of grass, rather, and, and set it aside. And I make roads. And I'd get a couple of rocks and find a piece of board and then put the dirt clods on that and make a house and a garage and then make a road down to another house. And pretty soon, I, 50 feet by 50 feet, got me a town. And right over from, too far from there, when it rained, they had this big puddle. You could wade out in it, or even, uh, you could even uh, float on it in a boat. It was about this deep. I remember the polywogs and those long strings of black, and we didn't know what they were at the time, but those were the babies, and we finally we learned we'd put them in a the bottle and bring them home. Pretty soon we got little tadpoles, and then the arms and the tails get shorter. But anyway, I just love to play all the time. Then it's time to go to school. I'm in kindergarten, I'm playing a lot in that. And I'd probably the first grade when we had to start doing book reports. And so, you know, I would do my book report. And then one time I was playing so late that I didn't have time to do my book reports. So I ran in the library and I, and I got a book and I looked at the picture. And I made up my own story just from what the picture was, you know. Author, name of the book, the author, the characters, and then what was the book about. And you know, I was from looking at the picture on the book, I'd make up my own story. And so this I, I never read another book for a book report after that. You know, I could read, you know, I did read in history and all the other stuff. But as far as book reports went. I never read a book for a book report until maybe the 11th grade. And I don't even think this was a book, but it was a required reading. I don't know if it was a choice or whatever, but it, uh, I, it was, I took uh, Contiki, you know, about going down to South America and building a raft, fill it with coconuts and, and see if you could drift over to the islands. and. That's how the people made it out there originally. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the book, but as far as book reports, and it, so it shows up in my stories of my vocabulary. I remember once right across the street, my daughter's four or five, or uh, maybe my other daughter's there by now, she's two, that would be two and six. Or, and I'm in there reading them a, a kid's story. And my wife's in the other room, and. She's laughing because I've got to uh, wrap a noozle, wrap a noozle, let down your hair. So, so you know, uh, I, I just loved. I mean, that, and that gave me a great imagination, I guess, because you know, hundreds and hundreds of book reports were just made up of looking at. And you know, and after about the fourth grade, I quit going to the library. I just make up my own author. My, I made up with everything. So all my book reports were made up, and I got good grades on all of them, of course, because they out of my own mind. It, it, I didn't have to read what somebody else says. And then it almost got to a point where I thought, well, the Bible was the only book that kept my attention, you know, from junior high on. And, 
Because, uh, you know, other books, I think, well, somebody just made this up. You know, but the Bible, that, you know, that, that's something else. And so, as far as putting this into the um, autobiography, nothing, nobody, that's, that's the uh, one I was going to say about I love to play. And so I just love to play, so I, I didn't do any of my book reports.